and welcome to the channel. I've made this intro at least three times. So you're gonna see this outfit and me in the car, but it's a different day than when I shot the video. Because like I mentioned in a previous video, life has gotten away from me. I lose all track of time. And by the time I get in the house, it's dark and I've made a video and didn't make an intro. So with all that being said, I have been in the garden. I have harvested a little something something and I want to take you guys along with me. So if you'd like to see what I've been doing in the garden, just a little something something, stay tuned. Let's take a walk to where the beets are. The beets are over here. I have several pots, this big one right here and that one in the center. I have already sown seeds for beets. Let me see if you all can see them. If you look closely, you'll see baby beets popping up. I don't know if you can see them, but the, the chive is in the way. You can see baby beets popping up all over this pot. I did sow more beets. Not all of them are coming up, but I do have baby beets popping Excuse up. Excuse all the outside noise that you all might hear today. It has been really nice and warm. It's been in the 80s. That's why the beet tops are looking really, really ragged. The soil has been watered, but the tops are looking really rough because the mornings are cool and the day is blistering hot. I did sow some beet seeds in here, but I need to get these out. I am not a beet fan. My mom likes beets, so I'm going to attempt to make some pickled beets with these. Um, and some, if there's enough, I want to dehydrate because that's the only way I'm going to eat. A and beet. I want to excuse all the unnecessariness of all the noises outside. I do live in a suburban area, and so I am not the only one around. My neighbors are very close, and you can hear everything. So I am just going to take this out. Now, these are, I don't know, I put mixed beets in here, and I'm trying not to damage the tops but it's all mixed up in here i don't know what you all can see let me see if i can move you guys closer i hope you all can see a little bit better but i'm trying not to tear the tops up you can eat your beet greens if you are not aware i don't like beet greens either i have tried eating beet greens and they also taste like dirt to me. So I don't know what's going on, but my, I just don't like beets. I tried. So I am trying to get this out of here. It's, it's in there, y'all. Now I put these in in the fall. I don't know whether or not they are going to be any good. I do have some peel bugs or some roly polies in this pot. So I'm just trying to get this out of here. I don't want to take my soil with me. Unfortunately, one of these did not grow. It was right up against this one. I want to get this soil off. I don't like taking soil in my house. I don't like washing soil down my sink. So I try to get it off of my produce. I know you all probably cannot see. And I'm trying to move this out of here. And here, here they are. This one was right up against this one, so it didn't really grow that well. Now, as I mentioned, I put several types of beets in this pot. I'm going to move this off to the side one moment. I put albino beets, and I put what's called a... I'm trying to see if I can find the tag... I can't, I can't think of the name of it. It's, it has the word sweet in it. I can't think of it right now. Um, if I find it, I'll put it in the description box below. But it's a really big beet. And I know this is not the albino. This has to be that sweet beet. It is indeed white. And as you can see, some of them did not grow. They were right up against the bigger ones. They were fighting for nutrients not getting enough water. I don't water a lot in 
the fall and winter. I try to let the elements take care of it for the most part. And this is the result of that. But here's another one. Still enough to put in a, in a jar. I know this one is a pretty big one. This one is massive. Oh my goodness. And there's a red one right behind it. I'm going to try not to disturb that one. I don't want to pull that one out. I am breaking these tops, which I did not want to do, but they're all intertwined and intermingled. They were having a beat party. That's okay. So let me see about grabbing this one. Oh my goodness. And I don't know whether or not these are even good to eat. Like I said, I planted these in the fall and it is just time to get them out and put in something else. So let's take a look and see if there's anything else in here. I've got some smaller ones in here. This will give them a chance to grow. This one doesn't really have a big enough bulb on it, so I'm going to leave that one. And I also have some, either some, I don't believe, let me see. Yeah, I put some shallots in here. So I've got a shallot right here in front. I hope you guys can see there's a shallot right there. And there are some red beets along the back back here. I hope you guys can see. But I did put some seeds. I'm probably disrupting those seeds. But I put seeds right around the shallot area. So I'm not going to really mess with that too much. I'm just trying to look in the back. See what I can see. There aren't any more beets for me. Any big ones for me to take out of here but this is what I just took out of here y'all you see how big this thing is so I'm going to wash this up and get this in the house and these beet greens if they can be salvaged I will salvage them get them cooked up uh, and figure out a meal with those disguise them with something else because you know I, like I said I don't like beet greens so let me show you guys what I pulled out of this pot. Now that it has quieted down just a little bit, I want to show you guys. These are the beets I pulled out. Not a lot, but there are a lot of tops, so it won't go to waste. Like I mentioned, I'll cook them down like a green, because they are greens, and I will get these rinse off before I get them in the house. But there's enough here to make a couple of containers of pickled beets for my mom. But there you have it, beets out of my garden. And all of these beet greens for a second meal so let me get these cleaned up and get them in the house the beet tops have been cut off of the beets i'm going to sort through them take away all the ones that don't look edible either put them out in the compost bin outside in the super juice or get them processed down to feed the worms but they are not Going to go Excuse today. any background noise you hear. One of my dehydrators is going. I am dehydrating herbs from the garden, but here is the finished product of my pickled beets. I only came up with two pint sized jars. I also have a pint and a half of brine. So as I'm pulling beets out of the garden, if I choose to pickle them, versus dehydrate them. I have brine already ready. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share this video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Come on back, watch the videos that I put out twice a week. Hit that notification bell. If you don't like this video, you might like the next one. So I hope to see you either in my kitchen 
more of my food forest real soon. Bye for now. Don't you cry, don't you cry.